We're here with Donnie Tindall, the men's basketball coach. Coach, tell us about the last home game we had versus Pensacola. Yeah, it was a great game. You know, Pete does an incredible job over there at Pensacola. He's one of the better coaches in our league and one of the best coaches in the state. And I thought that it was a competitive game. We had a sizable lead at halftime. To their credit, they came out and did a nice job in the second half defensively, made us take some tough shots. And I think the biggest thing in games like that is when we play really well, Eric, we limit our turnovers. In that game, we had 22 turnovers, and that's just the recipe for disaster. Now, we held on and won the game, which was important. I thought we did a nice job defensively, but they're a good team, and, and they did a nice job making us take some tough shots. Where are we now? Where are we set kind of right now? We know we have a game coming up right today. A lot of people maybe maybe watching this a little bit later. But right now, where do we kind of standish? Or what's yeah, our... yeah, we're 24 and five overall. We're ranked second in the state behind Indian River, and we're seventh in the country right now. So we're having a pretty good season. Tonight's game is a huge game, which they all are. But tonight's the last regular season game. We're on the road at Gulf Coast. If we win the game tonight, we're going to have at least a share of the Panhandle Conference Championship with North. Northwest, they've got to play Pensacola on Saturday. If they win and we win, we'll be tied. So it's a huge game. We lost over there to Gulf Coast earlier in the year on the road, beat them when they came back to our place. So this is kind of the money game, as they say. Awesome. And again, I think you kind of hit on it a little bit. But what's kind of our future look like if, if, if we if we get this, you know, kind of what's our future look like a little bit? Well, either way, we're going to be in the state tournament. I think the, tonight's game is going to be obviously very, very big and where we're seated in the state tournament. And with eight teams, you know, you want to try to get a, there's no easy path, but the easiest path you can get. Um, but there's not going to be any easy games. We, we're going to have a legit chance to win that state tournament, but we're also understanding that, hey, you could get beat in the first round. And then hopefully if you go over there and play well, obviously you win the state, you go to the national tournament in Hutchinson, Kansas. If you don't win it, we're going to have a chance because of where we're ranked nationally to have an at-large berth opportunity. Gotcha. And are there any players specifically you're kind of proud of or kind of come up really, uh, you know, grown or have really? Yeah, I, th I think five or six guys, all sophomores that have really grown and overcame some adversity to some point. Uh, you know, you start with Naquan Tomlin. He's arguably one of the best players in junior college basketball. He's 6'10", he's long, as athletic, he's multi-dimensional. He's done a lot of good things and I feel like he's grown as a leader for our team this year. You got Chris Gardner who broke his foot in the state tournament last year and has overcome a lot of six month layout with the injury to go come back and be, and been doing a great job for us at the point guard position. Lance Irving had a little minor knee procedure this summer. He came through that. He's playing his best basketball this time of year. And then Dante Walker, a guy that gives us energy off the bench. He's got his weight back down where he's in better shape and game condition after being out six weeks with a hand injury. And then our two big guys, Faison Fields and Achor. Achor are probably two of the most improved big guys in the country. They're playing with uh, force and impact on the glass, scoring it, rebounding, and doing a nice job defensively. So those six guys, I talk about a lot of guys, but they really are the core of our team, the returning players. A lot of those kids have overcame some injuries uh, to be playing their best basketball this time of year. Well, good luck, Coach, and thank you for spending some time with us. Okay, thank you. And then just stay right there.